Tuesday. Hi, can I have a medium pumpkin spice latte, please? Medium pumpkin spice latte. Do you want the whipped cream on that, Taylor? Uh, yes, I will do, please. No worries. Any other drinks for you, Um, blah, blah, blah. No, that's it, thank you. No worries, if that's everything, just make your way around. Thank you. Thank you. So, I am having a shopping day today. And first stop was, of course, a pumpkin spice latte. So, this is my first warm pumpkin spice latte of the year. It is the 1st of September today. I absolutely love, love, love this time of year. It's weird because I never felt like I did when I was a little bit younger or like a teenager. I always wanted the summer but now I'm older and I'm not old I'm 30 but now I'm older I just love this time of year I love the weather I love the leaves I love the dark nights I'm not a huge fan of the dark mornings but I do love the dark nights and I just love the whole autumn pumpkin vibes I love a pumpkin spice latte so last Friday I got a iced pumpkin spice latte because for starbucks members um they brought the pumpkin spice out earlier and then when we went it was quite a warm day and i felt like i didn't want like a warm wintry coffee so i got the ice latte and to be honest it wasn't that nice pumpkin in cold is not that nice pumpkin needs to be warm so yeah i've got my first pumpkin spice latte i've just arrived to b&m so I've actually got a list of things that I need written on a piece of paper because I didn't want to forget. Um, but I just need stuff for both kids' rooms and then just random little bits like um, bin liners and batteries, sandwich bags. Um, and then I'm obviously just going to have a look at all the Halloween-y, autumn-y decoration stuff as well. So I've just come to B&M and then I'm going like a 20-minute drive further away from home to ikea the range and home sense and tk maxx so i'm absolutely buzzing for that um thursday is my working day and i have got no clients they're all on holiday so i thought i'd just make the most of it and do this because i really want to get these kids rooms finished before i give birth and also i was going to go to the gym but i'm absolutely knackered i just don't even know what i'd do in there to be honest I really do not know what I would do in the gym. I feel like I'm going to give birth as soon as I get out of this car. I feel like the baby's ready to drop out. So I feel like the gym is just not for me right now. Um, and also, I am going to go to the gym on Saturday because Josh has got Casper. Well, we've both got Casper at home and he's out all afternoon on Saturday. So I thought if I go to the gym in the morning, that's like my hour to myself. And I've got not really got anything else to do. Whereas I was going to go to the gym before this and then do this. But then I'd be going home and I wouldn't have that much time left to get stuff done. So yeah. First stop, b and I'm going to take my first sip. That is literally like autumn in a cup. <laughs>
Disappointed. I feel like I've honestly wasted about four hours of my day. It is 10 to 3 and I left the house at 10 to 10. So that's actually five hours. Um, I've also done a lot of driving. I've done a lot of shopping. I'm actually going to see how many steps I've done. Because it's probably not a bad thing that I didn't go to the gym. I've done 7,500 steps. So by the time I go to bed... And all the steps that I've done walking up and down the house while Casper went. I've probably done 10,000 steps today. Um, but yeah, I went into Home Sense first. Don't get me wrong, there were some cute things in there. But there was nothing like what I'd seen on Gemma Miles, for example's video. Um, there was hardly any cute decorations. There was every candle under the sun. It would have actually taken me all day to smell them. Um, TK Maxx. There was nothing in there. The range was shocking. There was a few bits, but it wasn't that great. Next, again, there was like a nice cushion, nice mugs. Um, but I did actually want to look at the baby Halloween stuff. Didn't have any of it. Uh, then I went to Wilco's because I've seen a few people uploading like woven pumpkins. Absolutely nothing in Wilco's. And I mean nothing. B and M, a little bit tacky. Asda, there was a few bits. Then I thought, right, maybe Asda have got the Halloween baby stuff in. Not the Asda I went to. I probably went to the worst of everything. I went to the worst range, the worst home sense, and the worst B and M. Um, but I am just going to show you a mini haul and the worst Asda. Oh my god. The Asda that I went to, I hardly ever go to the Asda, and honestly, it is absolutely shocking. In fact, no, I went to B and M first, didn't I? So I'm going to show you what I got from B and M because it's actually nothing Halloween related at all. But I just got some bin liners. Okay, my favourite Aero snow bubbles because they were a pound, and they've got loads of Christmas chocolate in. And um, I've got some dishcloths got some aspirin because I'm on aspirin and I've run out and then I literally just got two of these um organizers for baby's cupboard for bottles one for bottles one for breast pump things because I really need to organize um that cupboard and then I also just got some kinetic sand for Casper to play with in his trofast flissat table um so yeah, we'll see how that goes down. I'm hoping he's not going to eat it, but I can't really say if he will or not. And then lastly, I got this mirror for baby girl's bedroom. So this was £7 down from £20. So it was reduced to 12 and then it was then reduced to 7 So I literally got this for £7. It's not very big. Um, but I can I can fully see in it. Probably never gonna be able to take a picture with it. Um, but it's just a nice decorative mirror. And I just wanted to try and get everything well as much as as many things as possible for baby girl and Casper's room because I'm just ready for them both to be finished now. Um, so next, Home Sense. 
So I only got three things from Home Sense. I got two candles. Um, one is apple pie, which is the cutest candle I have ever seen. It's even got a little spoon, wooden spoon on it, and then it's got like an apple pie recipe. Which do you know what? I might try and make an apple pie. And honestly, it smells absolutely unreal. So I'm probably going to put it behind me on this little table here. Uh, I've currently got a candle on there, which is sun-dried linen. But I'll pop that, pop, pop that away. What I like to do is rotate my candles. So obviously, I will get these out for like autumn. And then if there's some left for next, like when autumn's over and the Christmas stuff comes out, then I'll put them in a drawer. So I kind of like swap and change. And then I got this burnt caramel and pumpkin which also oh my god smells unreal so i'm probably gonna have one in the kitchen like near the sink um and then i'll have one down here in fact no i'm gonna put one on there because there is a plant on there so i never actually light the candle it's kind of just for sure but i do want to light these because i just love the smell of autumn halloween everything like that and then i literally just got this plant pot for that plant because I always forget to water it because we still don't have a plant pot for it and then I think if I water it it's all just going to fall so I've just got a little plant pot for it and now I can water it without having to take it over to the sink and hopefully it won't ever die but who knows it might die although it's a little bit big I don't really know where to put it uh, it really does need water in there so i'll do that later so that was home sense um like i say i didn't get a lot at all it was mainly just candles i could have spent a fortune on candles but i didn't because i don't need to i really wanted to find some of the syrups for coffees like the pumpkin spice syrups because Gemma miles is home sense wow they had absolutely loads and there was none it was literally just like your standard cinnamon caramel vanilla there was no pumpkin no sort of autumn vibes whatsoever so yeah i was a bit disappointed in home sense i actually went back in because i went upstairs to look at baskets like two hours after i'd been in and then i really annoyed myself because i found nothing <laughs> Right, so then I'm going to show you Asda. So I just got two things from Asda. I got this pot rattan pumpkin, which I thought was really cute. So I just thought that they'd look nice on the windowsill together. Um, I'll probably put these two on that windowsill there and just hope that Casper doesn't pinch them off. I think this was £4 maybe. But yeah, it's just a cute like pot rattan pumpkin. And then I also got this little sign that says hello pumpkin um so i thought that would look cute hanging in baby girl's room one of her pegs hopefully if she's born before halloween i thought that would be really cute um but yeah i thought it was a cute little sign i think these were six pounds as well i got a few for my friends too so that was asda and then ikea obviously nothing halloween based i could do not do halloween or autumn they don't change the stock really do they i just got one of the flissat pegs to go in between and to the side baby shelves so i've got one shelf as a bookshelf and then one shelf as like a hanger and i thought rather than it being like in the middle it could kind of just go to the side but like sit in the, in between them if that makes sense so it's not like as high or as low. It's like in the middle of shelves, but next to them. But I'm actually gonna paint the knobs. I think they do come off as well. Um, Cause these colors will not go, but I just thought if I painted them, then they'd be fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna paint them white probably. Or I might even see if they'll just sand down to like a pine. But if not, I'll probably just paint them white because that's the only wood paint I've got. 
I then just got two plant pots because I've got a eucalyptus plant in her room and then I've got like a little bushy plant in Casper's room and neither of them are in actual little plant pots so I've just got two of them just to kind of finish it off and then I just got two trophas trays for our flissat table because I bought a flissat table last week and I completely forgot well I bought a flissat table and a trophas unit and I bought all the trays of the trophas unit and then I forgot about the flissat table um and i really just want to start getting casper into stuff like this like try and keep him entertained for a bit longer so i wanted to get them asap and then i don't know why i'm looking around thinking i've got something else to show you because i actually don't the only thing i've got left to show you is this cushion cover i got from shane 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 and it just says meet me at the pumpkin patch so i'm just going to put one of our cushions in here to be honest it's a little bit not that good quality it's like that awful velvet material i would have got a gorgeous cushion in next or home sense if i hadn't have got this but i've got this so maybe next year maybe i'll treat myself to a nice cushion next year but for now this is just going to go on our leather chair in this um I say in the living room, the living room's right there. But it's just going to go on the leather chair. And then I need to just get all the rest of our pumpkin decorations out the attic, which I'll do in a few weeks when I get all my autumn clothes out. Um, last year I got this really cute little plaque that says something about Taylor's pumpkin patch. And then I've just got loads of like little pumpkins that I'm going to fill in like one of my jars. And then I did actually get a really nice um, autumn flower thing from here, actually. Let me see if it's just here. So, for the middle of the breakfast bar, I've just got this, like, autumnal display that I'm just going to put in a jar. It's obviously fake flowers. I don't mind fake flowers when they're not forever. <laughs> so, I'm literally just going to put that in the middle of a jar. Um, and probably put some pumpkins and stuff around it but yeah that is literally my haul i'm sorry there's nothing more interesting i can't actually believe how shocking all the shops were that i went to if you live around leeds Bristol, i really hope that it improves for you if you go in the next few weeks because wow it just wasn't great for me other than my candles like i say i really want to put them out now but i think i'll wait till i get the rest of the um autumn-y halloween -y things out um but yeah thank you for watching obviously i did I upload a bit of footage of what there was in there i filmed more than what i bought but there just wasn't as much as what i thought there would be i just thought in home sense it'd be some like gorgeous decorations like halloween autumnal pumpkin decorations and even mugs like i didn't actually see that many nice mugs like i really wanted like a really nice autumn pumpkin mug and there wasn't any but yeah thank you so much for watching guys please make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you in my next video